Coming up. Charging. Quick review of the car. Driving. And washing. Hello folks. It's been a while when I post my last video and that was when I finished my technical inspections when I was returning home. Everything was okay with the car, then I needed to uh, pay the insurance and to get the license plate. And I'm driving this car almost three months. I made it more than 3000 kilometers. So the car is very reliable and uh, very fun to drive. Everything on the car is working like before, air conditioning, heating, I have now the Webosta heating and it's working really nice. All the gauges are in function, except this little one uh, for the current consumption. Uh, this uh, fuel tank gauge is showing, the, is, uh, is showing the state of charge of the battery. Uh, the RPM uh, gauge is showing now, uh, for, from, the, from the beginning I had the RPM from the motor. But now I switch it and now it is showing the current. 1000 RPM are now uh, 100 amps, 2002 and then so on. And this little gauge is showing the heating water temperature, the heating water temperature in the system. I have tested the range. I made a 200 kilometers per charging. And now I will make a walk through the car. So I will be explaining something and show how it uh, looks like. If you haven't been following, I converted BMW E39 520i on full electric drive. First of all, the whole car was disassembled and prepared for painting. I had a problem to find someone who would paint the whole car in a reasonable time that I don't have to wait for a year. Anyway, I was waiting for 3 months. Maybe it's not a logical order to paint the car first and then to do the conversion. But that was my decision. I like E39 since I was a little kid. This is also one of the best and the most reliable car that BMW ever made and also one of the most successful. All door panels and seats were removed with a better one. I also bought the original M5 facelift steering wheel on the eBay. It didn't fit just plug and play on my older model so I needed to do some fabrication. It is covered with new leather. All buttons and one stage airbag are in function. This is one of the most beautiful M5 steering wheel. I'm using DC Warp 11 electric motor. This is one of the best and the strongest DC electric motor for electric car conversion. It is aligned with the plate and the flywheel on the gearbox with a bigger flywheel for a stronger 2.8 liter car. Flywheel carrier on the motor axis is made by a professional, but drawings and aluminum cutting by myself and my home built CNC milling machine from scratch. For controller, I'm using Zilla Z1K high voltage. This is one of the best and the strongest water-cooled controller for electric conversion. It can provide 1000 amps and the maximum voltage is about 350 volts. And finally the batteries. I got 9 Tesla models from Tesla S85 electric car. Total weight of one model is 25 kilo and contains 444 single 18650 cells. Three of model are in front and six in the back of the car. So the total car contains 47 kilowatt hour of electricity or a little less than 4000 of these little cells. After the car is finished, I needed to make documentation of all, of all procedure, what is removed and what is added into the car. Before the technical inspection, I have to weigh the car. It is about 250 kilo heavier than before and now weighs about 720 kilo. With this car I don't have to visit the gas stations anymore, only for checking the tire pressure.
as you can see I can move the car from the second gear now it's a fourth gear I can move the car on the, in the third gear This is the fastest I can go on this road and this button here is the second roller mode I have echo mode and I can uh, program it the, to the sport mode so I can limit the current the fast as I can go and after uh, 4000 rpm or F more than 100 kilowatts uh, this uh, gauge is collapsed but it is okay as you can see the car is really nice to drive and I'm very happy with it Bebes. As you can see, the car is limited at 130 kilo, kilowatts. This is uh, this is more than enough for a normal drive. I will be using this car for a normal daily drive, not for the street race or something like that. In the next episode, highway driving, more about charging and details about the state of charge light indicator. If you don't want to miss this, don't forget to subscribe.